Yeah, uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Tazcraft, and it looks like that is not working. The entity crunching is is alive and well, because I keep hearing them die every now and then, and I don't think it's because they're firing at each other. But um, so just to let you know, we might have a really short episode. If you look at my ping, it's like barely even one bar for some reason. I'm not sure why. So. Uh, Hopefully it won't be that bad, but... Oh, never mind. It is. <laughs> so, uh, I guess maybe I'll try again later to see if I can connect and stuff. But right now, ping is really bad due to... Who knows what. Um, our, our internet here at the house has been kind of weird uh, for the last little bit. So, uh, I guess uh, I'll be seeing you in a minute. Or it'll be just second for you because I'll just try again later. So, see you in a minute. And we're back. It's the following day and uh, I think it's doing a lot better. So, I was thinking, so we're still seeing entity cramming going on even with the vines and them swimming because they kind of separate to these two sides. So, I had an idea that might help. So, I think... Uh, let's go ahead and shut this and just kill them off real quick. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look. Did you see how many of them just died? Oh wow. <laughs> They've taken quite a bit of damage from entity cramming as you can see. So, I do have an idea uh, as to what we might be able to do. And there's a ton in here though. Alright. So, um... An idea I had is maybe put water so it flows out and goes that way and that way which means in the middle we'll have a sign we'll have water on both these sides to kind of split them I think if they're swimming they're not considered um, they're they're not considered stationary or whatever hey there bud say Hello to. I can spell some things. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> YouTube. Uh, and I don't have any space left in this chest, so we're gonna have to make another one. So, um, I mean, with the crushing. Now, if we were using fire damage, then we'd also have to like turn on and off the water. But I think we can do this pretty quick. Um, just with what we got. So we got two uh, buckets right there. So we're going to need some water. So let's go ahead and add on to our chest here real quick. Oh, we're having some block lag, baby. What? What's the... Oh, I can't see it here yet. Let's do this real quick. Hit escape. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, actually. Alright, so let's do this. Go ahead and slap this bad boy right there. Go ahead and put this junk. The other thing we're going to have to do is make some kind of system to get rid of the junk we don't want. Um, so what I was thinking is like maybe, let's see, do I have what I need in here? Uh, I could use a ladder, but I don't think I want that. Let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. So if we put a sign here in the middle, like so. And then if we break this guy and that guy, oh boy, we have, uh, we're going to have some issues. <laughs> Great. Can we, okay, so here's fine. So we could actually do this still. We go like this. Uh, let's go ahead and put the torch like right, right there works. Like show, and then we'll go ahead and put you there. And I can't have that can I darn it that's okay we got plenty of cobble in here if I could see I need to put on my glasses <laughs> okay so there so what we can do is uh, go get our two buckets of water real quick Might as 
let's separate them so they burp, burp. hopefully there's no mobs up here waiting to kill us doesn't look like it works pretty good all right grab one grab two and if we put the water in here it'll push it out that way and push them that way and if we put the water on this side they'll go that way so this should force them over to those sides let's just see if this kind of works and then the question i mean they're going to take a little damage here but that's not too big of a deal <coughs> but they are kind of fighting it aren't they And it does seem to kind of be working as far as getting them over. If I do that, however, you know one other thing? I, I did this uh, the other day when I was doing this. I did um, want to be able to see their heads. So we're going to stand right here so they don't see us. Now we're going to go ahead and do doop a doop and... And go ahead and go. That way we can actually see them. We can actually see how high up they are and stuff. And we can kind of get an idea of how many there are in there. <clears throat> uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, do I actually want... No, I don't need that right now. So as you can see, it is filling up pretty good. Um, it does seem to be working with getting them over there. We only have a couple in there, so... I would imagine if 23 are able to coagulate in here, then yes, we would start seeing the issue again with entity cramming. But whether they're all going over to the sides, and it looks like, it looks like they're doing okay. And let's just leave it for a second. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up is uh, I was uh, talking by my buddy Mikey, Mikey Perion. You should go check out his channel. He's got some really, he's an awesome builder. Um, but he was mentioning you could use comparators for this where it just diminishes the, you know, if you understand how comparators work, they evaluate how much signal is coming in on the side. Uh, and compare it to the signal coming in the back and then depending on that it outputs a signal so with a comparator I mean I guess we could make one uh, let's see doo, doo, doo. we need two of those although it's been a while since I've done comparators so this is kind of an experiment I haven't done too much with comparators to tell you the honest truth I use them for various things but I haven't really used them for the timer aspect so let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out right. So we're going to need, I think we need three, six. And so I put nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, like so. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I'm right with comparators, we basically need our stone. Let's do this. And if you watch my um, regrowth, we actually go in quite a bit on talking about comparators and how they work, and I'm doing that wrong. I think it's like this, right? Yes. All right, so if we make two of these, I believe what it does is, can we just do it like this, maybe? And then maybe put, how do I want to... I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. So if we put that there, I believe one comparator is going to now put the other. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure entirely. I might have to do a little bit of research. Well, that's not good. Look, we're getting some cramming going on again. <laughs> Look at them though, they're kind of funny looking. Yeah, and it might be because these guys are not actually swimming on that side. I wonder if I had the hole go one more deep so it didn't stop there, it kind of kept flowing, if it would force them to keep jumping. 
and we might be able to do that on this side. We can't really do it on the other side until we I do it here. There we go. So if we do that, no, they're still they're still taking entity cramming. So yeah, I'm not sure uh, what we have to do to get rid of the entity cramming issue here. But yeah, they're definitely, so if we close this, smash this down. See, we're losing just a ton of XP with all these guys that are dying. So that is not very good. I'm going to still get two, <laughs> three or so. <laughs> Ow, he has thorns. Did you just hear that? When I took that thorns damage, I went, <laughs> was that, was that real? And I'm still getting lots of stuff. Okay, so let's just... I don't think this is right, to tell you that. To be completely honest, I don't think this is going to do anything. But if we do this... Oh no, that just goes off. So what we have to do... So let's just talk a little bit about what I do know about comparators. Maybe that will help. and Maybe it'll help me figure out or remember what... Uh, what we need here. So the way the comparator works is it takes a signal from the back where's my comparators? It takes a signal from the back of it and then it compares the signal from either side. So if we have like a signal here that is 15 because that torch outputs 15 in fact maybe 14 or whatever we'll just do that to make sure it's going in right and then out here we have something that is not as strong. I'm going to need another torch. <clears throat> and I'm going to need more redstone. So we put it here. This signal is not as strong as this signal. So this, if we look, if we hit F5 here, or not F5, if we hit F3 here, you can see over here on the side, can I hit you? So right over here, you can see it's power level. So right here, it's 15. Then here, it's 14, 13, 12, and 11. So this is an 11 power going in. Therefore, this one that's 15 is greater. So if we were to actually reverse this and maybe do uh, that there and put that there, that's still greater. But if we move this guy closer, you'll now see that we get the little light on is that right yeah so it's outputting actually I guess I could have just done this and then what it outputs is the difference or the remainder unless you do this then I believe it's the difference so here you can see let's just make sure I did that right and let me turn off this real quick because that's annoying let's get a couple more things of this and see if I can explain this right all right so here, when we first set it up, we had a really low signal here, right? And then we had, I mean a high signal there. And then over here we had the other signal. So as you can see, it's not outputting anything. Now I believe we, no, it's not that one. That's subtract mode. So here you can see this signal is greater coming in than this signal that's coming in. Therefore, it does not pass it through. But if we take this one, And we put this guy right there, and then we take that guy. And where on earth can I run you to? Oops. Let's go like that. Let's just put him way over here. Now you can see, so here we've got the signal of 8. And here we have our signal of 15. So that means, if I'm correct, that means this is going to output the difference of those two. So if we have 8 here and 15 here, that is what? Like 7 more, I think? So if I'm right, this can output an additional up to 7, maybe? Is that wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, no, actually it gives the full it gives the full thing. And I can't go further than that. Uh, I can actually we could if we did this. 
Maybe that's the subtract mode I'm thinking of. Anyone that wants to correct me, feel free, because comparators are kind of weird. So that should be number one, I believe. So if we hit F3, that power is one, which means that's not given anything. So that is... Uh, the comparator is outputting, oh, the strength it gets in it outputs. Now if we do this, I think it actually will do the seven. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can see it's dead. So that's what it was. So as you can see, we have our signal here, which is, what was it, eight? So eight, and then we have a signal of 15. The difference between eight and 15 is seven. Therefore, this is gonna output seven because that's the difference between the two. If we do this, it's just going to output whatever it's getting in the back. So if we wanted, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe if, let's do this. So if we brought our signal here, and now let's see, so if we have this, so this signal is still stronger than that signal. We're in reverse mode. So as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be, uh, if we look, as you can see, this has got 10 power still left in it, right? That means this should output 10 because it outputs what it gets in. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and then it's dead. It's dead. So the way the comparator works is those two modes. One is it will repeat the same uh, strength of signal out that it receives in if the signal on this side is weaker than the one coming in the back, right? The second is it will take the difference of the signal from this side and its main signal. So in this case, we have, what was this again? Eight, I believe. Yeah, so we have eight and here we have 10. So if we do the difference between those, we get two. So we get one here and two here, and then it's dead. So hopefully that makes sense. So now the concept between the comparator uh, what would you call it? Delay or something? Uh, signal strengthener? What you want to do is have it so basically the signal coming in here and the signal going out is going to be different. So we would have, let's think about this. So the signal that's coming in is going to be diminished by this signal here. Is that right? And then I just, I'm not 100% sure that they talk to each other that way. So if we went, let's try this real quick and just see. So if we place that, break it, no, that's going the wrong way, so that's not gonna work anyway. So maybe we could do it here. So let's get rid of this. When we place that and break it, so that's still doing it. So what we need is something repeating in, because each time it feeds through, this signal should get lower. So maybe you could even just do this, and if you just pop it and break it, there we go. So that is the concept. So it just took a minute to figure it out. But as you notice, um, it was getting weaker and weaker as the signal diminished. Now, this is still outputting a signal. If we had a, a piston or something right here that took this signal, uh, you would see that it actually stays on until the signal goes to zero. Um, and so the idea behind it would then be if we had a couple more comparators, let's just maybe do four. The thing is, I'm not 100% sure of how many we need. Um, so we're gonna need, do we have four, which means we need, da, da, da. We need 12 torches. Wow, we're almost out of time, and I don't even have the sticks for 12 torches. Great. Uh, let's see. We're out of wood. Darn it. Uh, that's six more. 
That's okay. I know we're, we're in a mine shaft. I know where we can get wood. So it's not a big deal. All right. So if we go grab this, we'll just go grab because I'm going to need some more. So if we take this and we do four, one, two, three, four, like so, we can take our one, two, three, four, and like that, and then those. So if we take this and now the thing I don't understand is are all of these going to be getting signals from each other? Hmm. And then we do that. Let's just go check. I need to go grab some more wood real quick. We got some right here even. And we'll just do that. And then we'll just do this. Give us a couple more. All right, uh, and we're at 20 minutes, so hopefully this works. <laughs> and then maybe what I'll try and do is maybe explain what is going on and how it works, because that might be good too. And hopefully, if I'm wrong, someone feel free to correct me. So this should increase how long that is. Now, how long it's going to do, I don't know. But as you can see, it's going to last a lot longer. So what's basically happening here is when we start, let's just do the two again because it's nice and fast. What's happening is when we are getting our first amount of power, right? Right here, it's a 15. It's a 15 going in. It's a zero coming in the side, if I'm correct. So then it comes here and it's 15 power. It goes to 14. And then this now has a 14 going in the side. No, is that right? So now this outputs a 14, uh, 13, 12. And then that has the next one down coming out this way, which is a 14, which is less than 12. So it goes 13. Or wait, <laughs> no, I got, I, I don't know how to explain this. So if I'm correct in, in what I'm saying, I mean, I guess it could be the same thing as doing this. This is just putting a piece, oh, I can't really put a piece of redstone here, can I? No. But maybe I could do it like this. So if we went, hmm, how to illustrate this. I, I kind of understand what I'm trying to say. I just don't know how to illustrate it. So if we do that, then we could put a piece there, a piece there, and a piece there. And then maybe we have to put that there. And technically, I think that will still, we might not need that one, but let's just see if this even works. No, that does not work. Because it's outputting. So if I put redstone here, and here, I mean, it's it's looping, right? But oh, it's not outputting anything. So maybe it only outputs when they're next to each other. Or maybe because this is always zero. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay, I think I I know what I'm doing. <laughs> maybe I know what I'm doing. So this is going to be the same thing. It's not getting anything from this side, which is why it's still outputting right so if we do it even like this it should work so if we do that and that oh yeah so what's happening is because it's getting nothing in the side this is always going to be greater so what's happening is this starts out 15 it goes in here comes out 15 14 13 goes here it's 13 greater than zero so now it outputs uh 12 11 10 and then in here is 10 it, it has zero to compare, goes to nine, eight, seven, and then here, nothing to compare, so it's six, five, four. So it's just slowly diminishing. Hopefully that makes sense, but because these aren't outputting anything, you can actually have them just right here, and actually it'll make it just a little bit longer than that, because now you're going 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then it's off. So we might be able to see that. Let's see if we can see that by going into F3. We'll place our torch. 
and then if we look over on the side there 11 10 4 <laughs> yeah it goes really quick so that's basically what's happening and then the more comparators we stick in this chain the longer that will actually take to happen because this is going to pass 15 that's going to get 15 this is going to pass 15 that's going to get 15 so all this is doing is just delaying how long that's going to take so let's try it again and see if we can see it a little better so there we go 11 9 7 5 3 1 and off so we could use something like this for for our thing in there um, However, I don't know how to get this to be 23 ticks. I don't know how many of them we have to use. Now, redstone-wise, it's more expensive to make these, and you also have to use quartz, where a repeater, all you have to do is two torches and your three things. And Well, I guess redstone-wise is about the same, because you also have a redstone dot in the center. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully I was able to explain a little bit about how the comparator works so that it makes sense. Um, they're kind of weird to think about, but they do work really well as these timers that just slowly diminish. Wow, that one's taking forever. Why'd that one take so long? I want to see. Maybe it didn't take forever. Seven, five, three, yeah. And the reason it, you see it skipping from 7 to 5 is because it outputs here, it loses one, and then goes in. So that's why it's doing that. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it here. Um, apparently this didn't work either, but it kind of gave me an idea. We could actually have only a couple hoppers or something. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about just replacing this whole row with hoppers, moving the button down here with... Uh, an open space here or uh, something like that so that you just click it down here let's see how many guys fall in shouldn't be way too many uh, just because they'll be blocking up there and it'll stop the spawner but yeah I digress yet again so Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget about my great big game giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, we are giving away 57 Steam games. You heard it right. You heard it here. 57 Steam games. That's pretty epic. Um, and... Uh, that's about it. So I'll go in and end. So until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.